a while back, one of the batteries for one of our Aventure Aventins died. And in order to diagnose, recycle, or repair it, uh, one had to take it apart. And this is the procedure. The, you, this is how the battery appears at first, of course, with this sheath on it. Find the bottom where the charging port is. And on the bottom here, you will find a small screw. Remove that screw. Then you will be able to simply slide the sheath off the battery. Try to keep your parts, especially this one. That's the little button that presses down on the on button on the battery. Then we'll move on to the next step. The next step is to locate and remove the four screws on each end cap. You can leave these screws in. They're fine. This one as well. There we go. Remove the four screws here. And then as we then you can work to pry. Well, this one already came off. Work to pry the ends off. It will take a little diligence to do so. With a great amount of difficulty and digging, we did manage to get the battery pack out of the Aventure battery. And the container is, it's an aluminum. I mean, this is major stuff. This is an aluminum enclosure. And uh, now we're going to try to look for the battery management system. Uh, because nobody would have recycled it in this thing. Had to get it out anyway, so we had to get it out. Took hours of digging this uh, rubberized caulking out. I should also say we had to remove the end caps. This is, of course, the, the end that... Uh, this is the on and off button that attaches to this wire here. And these other connections connect to the other end, which is... Uh, to the charger, the motor, and other various things. So we've got to be careful as we move forward with this um, dismantling. <laughs> okay, after cutting through the pads around here, okay, and after cutting through this plastic membrane, and we peel it up, and there's our battery management chip, which is huge. So, uh, I don't see any chance of replacing this, or I don't know. Oh, there we go. Plus, okay. P plus, P minus. I'm seeing some familiar connections that I've seen before. All righty. There it is. Aventon Aventure 48 volt battery. Yes, this is a formidable piece of electronics. I can see why nobody wanted to take a shot at trying to fix it, repair it. Um, I'm going to look at some of the connections that are potentially damaged over here and see what we can find. I believe I find found the culprit right here. Let's see it. Let's see. Right here we can see heat and this part of the chip right here is fried. That's what I believe happened to it right here. Get a little closer. Yeah. Try to get some more light. There we go. Okay, if we look at the whole battery management system chip, and we look and we see evidence of heat right here and right down here. 
that looks fried. So it looks like this part of the BMS chip failed, cooked, and that's why it died suddenly the way it did. Yep, right there. That's the culprit. As we get further into this deconstruction project and peel away these sheaves, we can now see the cells which are packed actually very beautifully within a plastic container. Very nicely done, actually. Now we can check all the batteries just to make sure they're, uh, all the cells, make sure that they're in working order and maybe use them for another project. Okay, so what we have here are 39 1.2 volt batteries wired in groups of six. Slightly different on the other side, but still six. Uh, positive poles, negative. Hopefully, if I'm doing something wrong here, let me know. <laughs> In the comments, um, when I test negative to positive with a DC voltage meter, I should get about 7.2 volts is my estimation. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay, let's see what we get. About eight. About the same. About the same, about the same, same, oh, there we go, the same, and lastly, okay, this battery was charged at about 85% when it died, so it looks like the cells are still in good shape. Okay, so now I have to decide what to do with this bloody thing. Uh, it will neither charge nor discharge. And maybe some of you electronics geeks out there have some suggestions for me. We know what the wires are for. This goes to the on-off switch. These heavy-duty wires go to the motor. Red positive, black negative. This, I know, goes to the... Uh, in port, the uh, charging port. Again, red positive. Blue, I'm not sure. Ground, black is ground, but the blue is is uh, soldered to its own spot here. I'll have to research that. And these wires <clears throat> go to, I would assume, the display, the light, and the controller. So, I have to figure out how to maintain the charge, charge it when it is dissipated and get the juice out of it. Any suggestions will be greatly appreciated.